hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if today is your first time of stopping by welcome and to my old subscribers welcome back so in today's video we're making banga soup <laughs> So guys, let me take you through the ingredients. So we needed some banga, also known as palm fruits, then our protein of choice. I'll be making use of pork meat and my leftover catfish. Then we'll be needing some banga spice, some seasoning cubes, pepper, and salt to taste. Then we'll be needing some dried bitter leaves and belletiate. So I will be turning my extracted palm nut into the pot. If you want to see the video, check my channel and you will see the video of how I extracted this palm fruit. Or I will try and link the video somewhere here. So I'm going to cover and allow to cook for some minutes before adding my protein. I'll be going with the meat first, the pork meat first, before adding the catfish. After that, I'll go ahead and add all my spice. I'm going in with the seasoning cube, the banga spice, the dry pepper and salt all your ingredients all your spice you can add them at this point after that you cover and allow to cook for some minutes before adding your catfish Please, if you've watched at this point and you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any other recipes like this. And please let me know where you're watching from in the comment section so I can give you a shout out in my next video. <music> you can cover and allow to cook till it becomes thick to the consistency you want then your banga soup is ready <music> I'll drop my banga soup from the fire and place my native pot on the fire. Where I come from, banga soup is not ready without this step. I didn't allow my native pot to dry up. Normally, you allow the native pot to dry up, but I was so hungry and I didn't let it dry up. So I'm going to boil my banga soup with this native pot again till it becomes very thick if you don't like very thick banga soup you can just put it and allow it to boil for some minutes then take it off this pot gives this banga soup another special taste i kid you not guys so guys i left it on the fire to boil for some minutes and guys look at this beauty look at how thick this is guys i kid you not this tastes so good it doesn't just look just good but it tastes super good you can see how thick the banga soup is looking now so i'm going to turn off the heat and transfer to a stainless plate 
emphasis on stainless plate then i will add some cold water to the plate to allow it cool on time don't put it in a rubber plate but a stainless plate so guys that's all for the video i hope i was able to help please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a beautiful comment down below till next time always stay blessed and don't forget that god loves you see you all in my next video bye bye all the way we are, are.